guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are all having a great day. As you can tell, today we're doing my January favorites. Before I jump into the actual favorites, I wanted to just take a few seconds or minutes, well, probably minutes with the way that I talk, <laughs> to just shout out this new meal plan that I've recently started. It's not technically like a January favorites because I've only started it this past week, but I did post about it on my Instagram and Snapchat and I had a couple questions so I thought I would just kind of shout it out here maybe be a little bit more descriptive. So it's called Flex Pro Meals and basically it's a food delivery system. I actually started this program I found it online because I was looking for delivery systems and I started on it a, a last summer and I was doing like the weight loss plan. I am pregnant right now so I'm not doing weight loss, like I'm not trying to lose weight. This is such an amazing plan because I get it. I put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes per meal, boom, I have a well balanced, like super healthy, nutritionally balanced meal for me and that's why I'm doing it is to be healthy for me, be healthy for the baby, I'm trying to remember everything. I'm just going to link it below but I did want to shout it out and I did ask the, the brand if they can give me a coupon code to share with you and it's not an affiliate code or anything but it's 10% off of your order. I think it's Beauty Buzz. I'll have all the information uh, linked or listed below for you guys and also they have a new promo that I saw. I got this like little flyer in my shipment and it said I think kids eat free is their promo. I don't really know too much about it because the only kid I have right now is the bun in my oven. So um, just check it out. I hope I didn't get too off topic, but honestly for me, healthy eating and just how healthy living and lifestyle is absolutely related to beauty and makeup, if you will, because it's all about how you feel. Like, you know, getting really cheesy on you guys, you know, beauty is from the inside out. <laughs> but it truly is. And I just know when I eat healthier, my skin's better, my makeup looks better, and I have so much more energy and I just feel better about myself. And that's what beauty is. So that's why I thought I would uh, let you guys know. Plus, a lot of you guys had asked about it. So boom, Flex Pro Meals, moving along to the actual beauty favorite. <laughs> All right, so my first favorite is such an old staple product that I have loved probably since it came out, and it's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. It's basically the CC cream. You guys probably all know about this. SPF 50. It has a pump. Ooh, it has a pump, and mine is really dirty, so let's just pretend like we didn't see that. <laughs> this product is a product that I have in my stash that I know every time I use it, it's going to work and my skin is going to look amazing. The reason why I've recently been enjoying this lately is because my skin has been so dry. It comes with the territory. I live in South Dakota. It's super cold outside. You walk outside and your face, my face literally like cracks in dryness. Plus I have dry skin on top of that, so it's just a huge disaster. Um, so a lot of the foundations that I have been using we're just making my skin look so aged and just like I could see dryness like cracking through on my face and it just was not good. And I just busted this out and I know that it always makes my skin look amazing. Just so hydrated and so it's just a good stuff. If you honestly, if you haven't used this, you need to go to Ulta and get a sample or actually I don't think Ulta gives samples anymore. At least mine doesn't, which is a whole different story. <laughs> but have one of the makeup artists try it on you and you'll just love it. I don't know if you're going to like it if you have super oily skin. I could be wrong because it is kind of hydrating. Um, so anywhere from dry, very dry, dry, normal skin, I think you would absolutely love it. If you do have oily skin and you love it, let us know down below or if you hate it so we can all like read your comment and stuff. The only downside to this foundation is that Unfortunately, it just doesn't wear very long on my skin. It starts to break down after about three or four hours. I'll, I'll especially notice the breakdown in the center of my face. So all I do to take care of that is I'll just take a long wear concealer. And most recently, I've been using the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I'll just take that and place it in the center of my face. And that really helps to combat the not very long wear aspect of this. So those two together are, are great. And I did talk more about this. This is still a favorite, but I did talk more about this in my recent current favorite video. So I'll link that below. I give you guys swatches of the colors that I use and just give you guys like a more thorough review. But I just wanted to shout that out in this video. My next favorite is a hidden gem. 
in my collection. I've never heard anybody talk about it. I don't think I've even heard anybody talk about this brand. And it is this powder by the brand Senna. Now I purchased mine in California. I think it was either, I think it was at Namie's, which is like a makeup store. And I'm not sure exactly as of when I'm filming this of where you can purchase this at, but of course I will find it and link it below. But this is the Mineral Mix Advanced Mineral Makeup Press Cover and Finish Foundation. That was long. And I have I have mine in the shade light and I don't know if you can see but I'm about to hit paint on this baby because that's how much I love it. I have to kind of build up to telling you guys why I love this and how I use it because I don't use this all over my face. I could but it's just too much of a hidden gem for me and I don't want to repurchase it so I'm just using it for one specific reason and I'll tell you I'll tell you why. So basically, I have really bad allergies and really bad like runny eyes and even if I wear long wear eye products or mascara, this time of year, I don't know what it is, I think it's just because the weather is getting like a little warmer and by a little warmer I mean like in the 20s and 30s <laughs> and then it will be super freezing cold and that really jacks with my seasonal allergies. So I have really runny eyes and it's not because the products that I'm using in that eye area like the mascara and the eyeliner it's not because that stuff isn't long wearing because that stuff is long wearing it's my seasonal allergy so it's really important to note that moral of the story you guys after I do my makeup sometimes more often than not like especially lately I'll have smudginess under the eye area from mascara usually it's just like the mascara that transfers down or whatever it is so I'll just kind of really lightly wipe it away with a q-tip as you would but that kind of will take away some of the coverage under the eyes and then you can see skin peeking through and for me that skin under the eyes is like a bluey purple because I have discoloration. So this powder is the only powder that offers a little bit of coverage, like it's not full coverage. I would say it's sheer medium coverage. I just take it with a brush. This is the one I've been using lately and this is, um, what are you? This is just a Bare Minerals blending brush. It's like a totally old brush and I'll just pop some up under there. This is the only powder that will add coverage back up under the eye area, but it won't make my eyes look caked or crusted. You know, sometimes my under eye area, it really can't take a whole lot of powder because it just looks crepey and just nasty. So this is truly the only powder that I've ever found that I can use for that situation and it looks good. It looks good on camera. It looks good in real life. Very, very finely milled and super, super soft, soft powder. And I'm sure it would be beautiful all over the skin. But like I said, I've just been really using it for under the eyes and that, that reason specifically because I really don't want to run out, run out of it. But I don't know, I might have to start using it on my whole face and just bite the bullet and buy a new one because it's so so very, very good. And next I have this blush by CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the color called, what are you called? Uh, Light Rose 100. This is such a beautiful blush. I love everything about it. I love the color. I love the formula. I love the wear time. It's so blendable and buildable. And I saw this at the store when I got it and I was like, it's a peachy pink blush. Like how many of those do I need in my collection? Like for real. <laughs> I ended up getting it because I wanted to try it out because it is a new product and I'm so glad I did. It is just a basic pe peachy pink blush, but it's just so beautiful, especially on fair skin. Now this blush, I believe comes in three colors, a one, a two, and a three. So you're supposed to, you know, if you're medium skin, get the two. If you're darker skin, get the three or whatever, wear whatever blush you want. I am not kidding you guys, this blush is so flattering and just so easy to work with. Like I said, it's so buildable, you're not gonna have like clown cheeks because you really can't F it up. <laughs> I mean, bottom line, you really can't. Super beautiful. You know, I think it was like around $10, but use a coupon, get the buy one, get one half off. And I'm definitely gonna pick up the number two, which is like a I think it's like a berry color and that I think it's going to be really pretty. So super happy with that. I, I just can't stop using this. I couldn't stop using it in January. My next favorite I feel like is a very boring product, but you know what? I can't stop using it and it's definitely a favorite. 
and it is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. It says it helps heal dry lips and I've already hit pan on it and I haven't even had this like that long. I've maybe had it for like three or four weeks but I've already hit pan. That's how much I use this. This is, it smells very slightly of roses. If you don't like rose smells, ro a rose scent, I think you might still like this because it's really not that overpowering. It just is so emollient and just so jelly-like on the lips. And I posted about this on my Instagram when I first got it. And I got a, a couple of questions asking if it was similar to the rosy lips that's in the little like Vaseline tub. You know the little one that you can get like a little tiny one. I think they have cream brulee and rosy lip flavor. I've never tried that so I'm not quite sure if it's like the same consistency. It's definitely a little bit more, it's less greasy and more emollient feeling than like a regular typical Vaseline. Cause I have used, and I do use Vaseline on my lips sometimes, but this is just better. It's, it gives like a tiny, tiny tint. I don't know if you can see that of rosiness to your lips, but and ultimately it's, it's pretty clear and transparent like once you blend it on there. And it doesn't really slip off super fast. It's a decently long wearing lip balm. And I keep one in my coffee, I keep this in my coffee table, but I want to get one for my bedside table as well because I just want to have them all around the house because it's just so satisfying on my poor dry lips. Oh, and if you don't like rose scent, like I said, I don't think you'd be bothered by this because it's not overpowering. They do have, I want to say just like a regular unscented one and I think they have like a cocoa butter scent. Or something I knew that I know that they have more than one scent so I just wanted to shout that out and then my next favorite I'm sad about because I've been seriously using it all month and I can't stop I actually looked it up before I started to film this video and it's no longer available I wanted to shout it out and give you something that's all that's comparable as far as color but it's this eyeshadow this is the Mac pro longwear eyeshadow in the shade called always sunny so let me just show you, if you're not familiar with these, they're just like bigger than a regular MAC eyeshadow. These are the regular MAC eyeshadows, and that one's just a lot bigger. It's supposed to be a little bit more long wear or whatever. I don't know. It, it works great. It blends great. This is just such a perfect neutrally transition blending color. You just really can't go wrong with it. And like I said, I've been using it along with my other little Z palette picks here of the Pro Longwear ones and I'm just not sure these are even available which is so sad but the one that's very very similar but it probably costs even a little bit more but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and I this was part of my favorites you guys like I, I have not stopped using this so this is the Always Sunny and then the one in the middle is a Makeup Forever shadow the one I'm trying to compare it to I think it's I think it's 550 is the number. It's a matte finish, but the shade name is Cookie. So I'll list the exact right one below. But it's pretty much the same thing. And Cookie is a very, very neutrally perfect transition color. Really easy, especially on fair and light skin, because sometimes a, tra a transition color on us really fair skin people, it, it can go a little bit too far, a little bit too fast. So it's kind of hard to find a really nice neutrally one that's not too yellow, it's not too cool, and it's just perfect for days when you just want more of a neutral look. <laughs> All right, you guys, so those are my favorites. I'm looking down at my pile and I feel like there's not very many items, but I, I feel like I had some solid uh, opinions on this stuff. So I feel like I talked a long time. Basically what I'm trying to say is I didn't have very many favorites, but I'm pretty sure the video will be long anyway. But these are just some of the, the products that I just could not stop using and I literally was using every time I wore makeup this past month, so definitely tried and true hardcore solid favorites you guys know what to do leave your favorites uh, down below and also let me know if you've tried any of these products what your thoughts are on them etc you guys know what to do and thank you guys so i say it all the time thank you so very much for taking the time to watch my video and just hang out with me and just be here and spend your time hanging out and watching my video i sincerely appreciate it and have a great day guys i'll see you later